I didn't predict predict Patrick Mahomes having a LeBron uh, versus Mavs meltdown right in the second mm-hmm. half. Mm-hmm. So it's a good thing Walt's not here. <laughs> Boy, you rough. You, That's all I say. You rough. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna go back in on the Bengals. So, with the big game coming up this week. Super Bowl, Super Bowl predictions. I'm only here so I don't get fined, baby. Hey, ain't nobody gonna find you. I mean, I just dock your pay. But <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I'm sitting in this couch, man, and it's like it's weird, man. Like I'm sinking down into this Look, couch. It looks comfortable. I'm at the I'm at the in laws in uh, St. Louis right now. Okay. We don't we don't actually acknowledge. We, they don't talk about the Rams here, though. It's like uh. You know, it's like Harry Potter fans don't say Voldemort. Is uh, they don't talk about the Rams here. So is that a sore spot for them? Uh, only if they win. Yeah, though they get excited here when the Rams lose Super Bowls. So wow. yeah, they all we weren't we were never Brady fans, but but they all became Brady fans last time he whooped them. <laughs> wow, that's that's not right. But you know, hey. It is what it is. You're entitled to feel however you want to feel. Yeah, so that's, like, it was funny because like they taught like the city sued the Rams, right? And yeah, won, I remember seeing won, like that. seven, eight hundred million dollars, and people here were excited. I'm like, you know, we're not getting that money, right? Like, it's not like it's not like you okay. get five hundred, you get. 500. It's like when they say like the city sued them, like what? The city city didn't buy jerseys. The city didn't. The city didn't fill them seats. Like we right. did, we did that. Like, where's yeah. our where's our refund? Like, no, nah, I I, sh- I should get like five hundred back from that. But who knows? They said he probably already spent all that money already. So whatever. You know what's funny though? That I wish I wish I could have went to a St. Louis Rams game. Now that yeah. I think about it, that probably that probably is a great atmosphere. Oh, the atmosphere, yeah. Uh, the stadium is one of the worst. Probably one of the most. I mean, you know, decrepit I mean, stadiums in the in the in the league. Still now. Yeah, Marshall Falk said it. It feels like he's still. He, he said when he he saw the stadium last, he felt like it was still the '90s or something. <laughs> it's it's pretty bad. Man, for real. It's just it never was updated, renovated, nothing. It was just it's the same stadium that's always been. You know, since they built it back in like '95 or whatever, whatever year I forget. Wow. Yeah. Well, who you got? Who you got, man? Who's your choice for Listen, the Listen, I have been conservative. Choice. I've been conservative with my scores for too long. I have 27, 24, and 31, 27. No, nah, I'm going all in. Big win. Normally, if there's a blowout Super Bowl, they come back with a with a close one. Uh I don't think it's gonna happen. I think the last one was a blowout with, with 31-9. I'm gonna go again. Thirty. I'm gonna go thirty-four, nineteen, Rams? Cincinnati. What? Thirty-four. Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna call a weird score. I think there's gonna be like that, four. That is I, very weird. I think 30, Gabe's 30. gonna have like four field goals, and and a, and a Rams score one touchdown. Maybe OBJ gets it. Maybe Cup. But either way, I'm gonna give them. Who knows? Maybe they have no passing touchdowns, a rushing one, and then four field goals. But I'm gonna go all in on Bengals. I'm done. I'm done not picking the Bengals. That's all I'm gonna say. I picked them to beat the Titans. I did. Oh, I just hit the computer. I did pick them to beat Titans, but I didn't predict. Uh, I didn't predict predict Patrick Mahomes having a LeBron uh, versus Mavs meltdown right in the second mm-hmm. half. Mm-hmm. So it's a good thing Walt's not here. <laughs> Boy, you rough. You, That's all I say. You rough. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna go back in on the Bengals because a lot of a lot of people. No one. A lot of people. I don't. No one picked them to beat the Titans that I know, but I picked them to beat the Titans, and I was right, and I felt good about myself. And then I. I didn't count them out. I just didn't count Patrick Mahomes doing whatever that was. So, um, the game. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back in on them. I said, listen, whatever this talent slash luck series they got going on i'm, I'm gonna have, say it keeps it rolling and especially because i'm in st louis i'm not gonna predict the rams win here i'm gonna yeah i'll get i'll get thrown out the house tomorrow 
Yeah, but now you might get thrown out tonight. So I was just... <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you pick me up? Pick you now, up. Now, Where? back to everything I've said about the Rams up to this point. On paper, I don't see how anyone can beat the Rams. I mean, this this team has the talent level of, of the the Broncos when they carried Peyton Manning, the, the talent level of the Eagles when they carried Carson Wentz and then Nick Foles. But they also have a quarterback, unlike the year the Broncos had Peyton Manning. So, I mean, they had a quarterback. He was just a little old. A, yeah, I mean, a quarterback with a broken neck. I mean, you know, <laughs> so I'm just glad. I'm glad Peyton Manning was able to retire alive, upright, and, and – and be able to do his thing now. He retired like he should have. Right? No, he should have retired a year earlier. But no, no, he did it right. He got that Super Bowl and he got the hell up. He out did of not it. get that Super Bowl. They, listen, they could have rolled you out in a wheelchair and you would have won that Super Bowl. That 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 was one of the worst quarterback performances I've ever seen. I swear, you're the worst. You. <laughs> it was terrible. It was it was Ben Roethlisberger esque in the Super Bowl. I mean, it was just it was horrible. It was one of the worst. You think Super it was that bad? Hey, it's like 150 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. Like, it, what? come on, man. I, Trent Dilfer was better than that. I hear you, but you gotta you gotta relax, man. Peyton tried. Okay, this is it was bordering on John Elway Super Bowl performances. What? Boy, you yeah. rough. No, go look at his stats, man. I don't know what this is, like where we think like John Elway just torched these Super Bowls. Like he had five Super Bowls. In his five Super Bowls, he had three touchdowns and six interceptions. Like, <laughs> what are, all right. So look, here's the box. Percent of his here's, passes, like it ain't like know, he was balling out there. Here's the box score. Peyton Manning was thirteen for twenty three, one hundred and forty one yards and one interception. He was sacked so, five. So times. not even a touchdown. He was sacked five times for a QBR of eight point six. Yeah, that Jeez. is. And then CJ Williams Anderson, pretty much in the game, twenty three carries, ninety yards, one touchdown. Yeah, yeah was... people forget how good that team could run. Like they had, two, had a they big had a two running back set that was that compared to remember the Colts when Peyton Manning finally won his. With Joseph Adai and and uh, ah, what's the other guy? I hate to take credit away from him because he, he was a good running back too. But they had a two running back set that was amazing. That's what Denver had that year, man. They had a great two running back set that that I th- they easily hit over two thousand yards together that year. The two of them. Yeah, but you still rough, right? Like, bro, you say he was terrible. I mean, he wasn't that good, but like, God, oh. I'm just saying, if 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 Cam Newton were on the Broncos that night, that game would have been 43 to eight, like the like the Seahawks did to them. They would have run them over. The Broncos were a better team. I, I, I because that thing is because Peyton Manning was on that team. That team will never get the credit they deserve for how good they were. Like that team was good. Like that that Broncos team was balling that year. So Every everybody on like, defense, offense. Was Peyton Manning on that Broncos team, Trent Dilfer, to the 01 Ravens? I mean, Peyton Manning did his – so Peyton Manning did his job the years leading up to that. Like, I remember oh, he had a 55 okay. touchdown. When he first got there, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, listen, the guy the guy was playing with pretty much a broken neck. Like, they, they, like, they talk about all the time during the games, like, man, if this guy takes one bad hit, like he might never walk again. Like that was a real thing. Like they were talking about he that. Kurt year. Angle. He cut angle. Broken freaking neck. And, and he, the Broncos started out that season. I think like seven and zero, oh, seven and one. And during that run, he led the league in interceptions. Like it was bad. At one point, he got benched. Like Peyton Man, people forget I Peyton Man got Brock benched. Eisweiler or something like that. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. for like four or five games, he got uh, maybe three. I don't know, but he got benched for like three. Two or three games, like three or yeah, four games, like yeah, he was bad, and, and that's not a shot at him. It was he clearly was injured, but it also shows how good that team was. Like this is a team that 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 Tim Tebow was throwing sidearm the year before, and, and went to the playoffs and beat the Steelers. Like that team was really good. Like I, I I don't think they get enough credit for how much talent was on that team. So all that to say. 
that's what the Rams look like now, except their quarterback is upright. And and so on paper, man, I don't see how anyone beats the Rams. I really don't. But I can't believe he mentioned Tim Tebow. But well, we're not going. We're not going to get into that. But 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 listen, if you look up "cool" in the dictionary, it's a picture of Joe Montana. And in that, and if you look closer, he's holding up a picture in that picture of Joe Burrow. Like this dude is. He's just – they're just that cool, man. Like him and Jamar Chase are just the – you know, they're going to be future faces of this league. Uh, I, I got them rolling all the way, 34-19. Wait, what score? 34-19. You just said 31-19. What's the score, No, no, no. Man? no 34. I said 34. I'm pretty, I'm pretty positive I said 34. If, you who, might be right. And who is your Super Bowl MVP? Only because it's that high scoring, I'm gonna give it to Joe Burrow, right? If it were low scoring, I wouldn't. But anytime a game is that high scoring, I'm assuming he had something to do with it. The guy averages about 35, 36, higher of 36 passes per game, so I'm assuming they're not gonna veer from that. So I, I assume they're just gonna, by default quarterback wins it in those situations, unless Jamar Chase has a 200 yard game. With maybe a pair of touchdowns, but I'm, I'm not I'm not predicting that, even though I think he could. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna give it to Burrow by a hair over oh, Jamar by a hair. I'm gonna say Rams twenty. I say thirty-one twenty-one. Rams. I think they seal the deal by walk-off interception. Uh, uh, Saints over Colts style. Yeah. 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 yeah, in a way. Yeah. And I have a Not feeling. Actually, uh, almost Seahawks Patriots too. <laughs> true. true. Very true. And I have a feeling that the stars of the game, one of them are going to get MVP. I say either Aaron Donald or Jalen Ramsey. That'd be awesome. I think it's going to be tight. I think the game is going to be tight. It's going to be very nip and tuck, back and forth. You score, I score. You score, I score. I don't score. I kick a field goal. They have the ball. I feel like Joe Burrow going to try to hit Jamar on a quick out. And Jalen going to I'll take that and uh, steal the deal. That's one of the reasons Joe Burrow, I believe, will always be successful if he keeps this same mindset and never, and never, you know, because no matter how many times, listen, you you can tell me all day that that Cincinnati shut down Tyreek in the second half. It doesn't matter if you don't throw to your guy. You can't tell me they shut him down. You have to at least give your guy a shot. Patrick Mahomes never gave well, Tyreek a shot. Well, even when he gave him a shot, it was a bad throw. You you threw it to my man in double coverage. Like, come on, bro. But I'm just he's saying only, he threw it to him twice this whole second only half. He's five nine. Like he's not you, winning you, no jump. But ball. you but you threw it twice to him in the second half. Like I'm sorry, if he's your best player, you got to believe in him. That's why he's so great. Well, no, nah, not no. Nah. You believe in him on a a, a a quick slant, not downfield for a jump ball. He's already undersized. I can see if it's I'm not talking, I'm not talking about a specific play. I'm talking about oh. for an entire second half, you gave a yeah. guy one th- one pass per quarter. So I, that's what that's one thing the Bengals will not do. Listen, if the Rams are going to beat them, Jalen Ramsey is going to have to tip balls, intercept balls because they're going to keep targeting him all night. They're not going to not throw it to Jamar just be, Listen, if Ramsey picks him off in the first quarter, they're still going to keep targeting Jamar all night. Like you have to you have to beat me every single play because they're gonna come to me 10, 12 times tonight. I I, I think Jamar could maybe get 15 targets tomorrow. Um and, and I, probably you know and because of his talent level maybe catch eight or nine of them just because I think at some point the Rams are gonna have to double team him the every single play. But I, I'd I say he gets easy 14, 15 balls tomorrow night. I do feel like I feel like T. Higgins, T. Higgins or Tyler Board are gonna have big games because the attention is gonna be so much on Jamar 
and mixing, it's you know I think they're gonna they're gonna have to come up big for them to have any chance in this game. I wouldn't be surprised if Mixon had a big game too. Maybe 132 yards, 20 carries. Well, like I mean, the, if they the can't team, stop him, I I could see him going back to the well there too. Like just you know keep getting whatever well, the they can. Thing is, the Rams defense has been very solid. Run defense. I don't think in the playoffs. I don't think anyone has had more than 50 yards. We'll look that stat up, and I'll you know we'll talk about it on the next show. But I don't think. They've allowed one guy to get more than 50 yards. So so I got 34-19, and you have 31 – I have Bengals, and you have 31-21 Rams. That was that was my prediction for the Chiefs over Bengals was 31-21, I believe. Um, they could have had – I'm going to go bigger. I'm going to say 15-point score difference. I'm just going to – I don't know where I'm pulling this out of, but I, I'm just going to say it. Um, hey. You're not it's not based on anything. <laughs> Right, hey, it is what it is. You never know, man. Super Bowls, Super Bowl is the one game where the most unlikely heroes, you know, come alive. You know, people you ain't never heard, like Malcolm Butler, for instance. You, what, did he well, have- hang on now. Malcolm Butler was a beast, though. But I, you I, didn't I hear, you, credit, you didn't bro, hear right. about him before that game, right? And, and you know what? And you know what was messed up about the Eagles game was that, and we'll never get an answer about it. But one reason that makes everything look funky and fishy is why was Malcolm Butler not playing the Eagles Super Bowl? This man, people forget, this man led the league in tackles by a cornerback. Do you know he's the only quarterback, cor- cornerback, in like the last twenty years to have over a hundred tackles in a season? He's only like the second one to do it. So I mean, th- this dude was a beast. You gotta and they- the Super Man, a lot of people will always look at that like, "What? What was the point of this? Well, you know what? That's off. Something funny about that." But um, what whatever was going on with Bill Chick's head that day? Um, but you know, especially when when a dude just dropped thirty, you know, thirty, and then starts hitting forty. Like at some point, like what? You you still not pull him out? Like. Are you that proud that you can't admit you're wrong? You know that even down, even when a guy hung forty on you, you still leave your best player on the best corner on the bench. Kudos to Malcolm Butler, what he did with his career, um, and you know, Bill Check deserves to lose because of that. True. And uh, yeah, man, it's gonna. And be by the way, kudos to kudos to Aaron Rodgers winning his fourth MVP. Only the second person to ever do it. Uh, you know, behind you got to get another ring though, because that looks bad. You got all these dang on MVPs with only one ring. You got at least to be like two. And I don't four. think he has to get another ring. I think he has to go to another Super Bowl. No, you got to win. You got to win. You but because win. listen, Peyton Peyton won one. Peyton won one, and he got carried to a second he one. Won. He he got two. He got two. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, Adam Fantary has three or four of them. All right, like. But um, look, no, hey, I agree. I agree. He won all his own. But I'm just saying, like, I don't think Super Bowl win, you know. But but the inability to make it to listen, Aaron Rodgers is 11 and nine in the playoffs. 11 and nine, like that's not good. And, and the thing is, if you count out that Super Bowl season, you, lost, you can't count out the Super Bowl season. At home. But, but those three have been at home. So no, when the, when they won, they were a wild card team. Yeah, they so that was four home. wins. So other than other than that year, he's he is seven and nine in the playoffs outside that maybe, Super Bowl maybe, right? Well, maybe he plays better on the road. He's usually the home team. I mean, he's the home team this year. And matter of yeah, fact, but you've seen him lose the last two well, times. Garoppolo has never played in weather under thirty-eight degrees, and it's going to be like negative fifteen. All right, well. Now we're going to talk about this dude just, you know, you know. now, again, Grappolo didn't exactly ball out, but still. But they say they said teams from California, when they go to Green Bay, are usually like 3 and 12. And usually when they put those stats up or they make that comment, it usually goes the opposite direction. He's never missed a field goal in his life, and then he misses the game winner. Like I mean, Aaron Rodgers was a Cali boy, so, 
you know, he went out there and balled his whole life. So I clearly don't, doesn't, that don't matter. That's a, those are fake stats. Like they, they're, you know, they're real stats, but at the end of the day, they don't matter going into the next game. The next game is a new game. Everything's fresh. It's zero, zero. You had to go out and make two touchdowns and you couldn't do it. Um, but you know, kudos him win the fourth man. That's awesome. Uh, you know, yeah, I want the second person to do it. 